Can Top Gun 2 win Best Picture? That is the question of the day. And if not win, can Top Gun 2 Maverick get nominated for Best Picture? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. So I got that question in the comment section of a previous video, so I wanted to talk about that. If you look right now, a lot of Oscar predictors out there have Top Gun 2 in their best picture lineup, but I wanted to talk about what I thought its real chances was. So currently, if you actually look on Gold Derby right now, you'll see Top Gun Maverick currently at the number five spot, most likely to receive a best picture nomination. Now, I don't think anyone is actually predicting Top Gun 2 to win best picture, but could it really get nominated for best picture. So my answer, it may not be sexy or very clickbaity, but the answer is no. I just don't. Now, I would love to see Top Gun Maverick get nominated, but let me explain why I don't think it will. So first, let's talk about a few things Top Gun 2 has going for it. Critically, did really well. Has a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was a smash at the box office. And it's currently actually number five, I just saw, at the highest grossing films domestically of all time, right under Avatar. So it's a very successful movie. And being a very successful movie, yes, always helps, always helps. Another thing going for it, and this is the one that does give me some pause, is the older voting branch of the Academy. And there's a lot of them. They remember when the original Top Gun came out 35 years ago, and Maverick looks and feels just like the films they grew up with. So I imagine Top Gun 2 is very much gonna cater right to their nostalgia spot. It's also, you know, a very masculine leading movie, and over half the current membership are men. And I mean, I'm not even a very masculine, manly man. I mean, look, look at my chest. I literally, I literally have no hair. I think I have one hair. But even that being said, I even enjoyed Maverick quite a bit. However, I still don't think Top Gun 2 will be nominated for two reasons mainly. The first one being the race is long, just pure and simple. So sometimes I genuinely can't tell if some pundits are predicting based on the current status of today or basing it off of what they genuinely think is going to be happening in the future. Like if voting were to happen today, then yeah, like maybe Top Gun 2 would, would probably get nominated, but there's gonna be so many movies from this point until when voting starts in January. And I just think a lot of the earlier movies often just get completely forgotten. I mean, let's take a look at uh, last year, for example. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, this is kind of what I do. I like to dive deep into the data, look back at previous years to find familiar trends and, and just present the information to you. So this channel can get very, very nerdy. Just wanted to uh, give you a heads up. But let's take a look at last year's Best Picture nominees. So these are the Best Picture nominees and you'll see here, these are all the release dates for those films. The film with the earliest release date in the year you can see was Coda on August 13th. The most of them, most of the movies were released in late November and December. And that is very typical for the most part uh, for Best Picture nominees to be released during the you know, award season time. And it makes sense because you know films are, are fresh in the voters' minds um, and it also leaves enough time for the film to build a little momentum before voting starts. And just a reminder, Top Gun 2 was released at the end of May of this year. Now, that being said, occasionally movies with an early release date are able to maintain relevancy throughout the year and score a Best Picture nomination. For example, a movie like Get Out, let's take a look at that year. So most of the films, again, were released on November and December, but Get Out was released at the beginning of the year all the way back in January, and Dunkirk another sort of military-like film, kind of like uh, Top Gun 2, was nominated that year, uh, and that was released in July. And when looking at recent years, typically the handful of early release Best Picture nominees often have a few things in common. One, they're mega successful at the box office, which Top Gun 2 certainly 
checks that box. And it also helps when those films capture the cultural zeitgeist and represented something bigger beyond the film itself. So I'm thinking of like movies like um, Get Out or Black Panther, for example. So Top Gun 2 may fit the mold closer to something like The Martian, American Sniper, Mad Max Fury Road, all very kind of action-y films and also all were nominated for Best Picture. But this brings me to my second reason on why I don't think Top Gun 2 will be a Best Picture nominee, which is The Martian, uh, American Sniper, Fury Road, you know, while they are very similar to Top Gun 2, those films were directed by really well-known, kind of accomplished directors, all previously nominated by the Academy. And also all those films received a large amount of nominations, including major above the line categories. However, Top Gun 2 was directed by Joseph Kosinski, someone who hasn't been previously nominated before, nor at this point has that name recognition that Ridley Scott and Clint Eastwood and, and George Miller had at that time. So looking closer at the nominations, you know, The Martian got seven nominations, which included actor, adapted screenplay, uh, usually very important if you want to win Best Picture. American Sniper got six nominations, Adapted Screenplay, uh, Best Actor. And Fury Road got 10 nominations, which pretty much included crafts pretty much across the board. And looking at Top Gun, how many nominations, you know, are we really looking at potentially? I think, I think we're looking at sound, editing, you know, visual effects, original song, maybe maybe cinematography or score on its best day, but Maverick is not likely to get any major category, such as best actor or best director or, or best screenplay, or get nominated in crafts like production design or costumes either. So, you know, oddly enough, the first Top Gun was originally nominated for four Academy Awards, which was best editing, best original song, best sound and sound editing. But in my opinion, I think that's probably the most likely scenario of what Top Gun Maverick will get nominated this year. I think we're looking at sound, uh, we're looking at editing, and we're looking at original song, maybe. And I know it's tempting to think that Top Gun 2 can go all the way to Best Picture, especially with all the money it's made. I mean, being financially successful definitely helps, but being in box office juggernaut doesn't always equate to awards consideration. I mean, if you look at the top 10 highest grossing films domestically of all time, you'll see that three of the 10 received a Best Picture nomination, Titanic, Black Panther, uh, and Avatar, and the other six received zero to three nominations. And at the end of the day, I think Top Gun 2 is likely to fall into that camp because you know, Titanic, Avatar, Black Panther, those were films that could really hit in a lot of the categories, especially a lot of those craft categories. So with a lack of major nomination prospects and the prospects of all the other big contenders that are gonna be coming out this year, I just don't think Top Gun 2 will end up getting that Best Picture nomination. But to be honest, I do love that it's even in the conversation. So. I don't know, that's just my take, but what do you all think? Let me know in the comment section below if you think Top Gun Maverick will get nominated for Best Picture. Also, if you ever have a question that you wanted me to cover, feel free to leave that question below and I'll address it in a future video. Up next, I've actually been avoiding Twitter and avoiding any news pertaining to TIFF, so I'm gonna be doing some reactions to those reviews coming out of TIFF, which honestly, I'm kind of like dying to know. Uh, and I'm also gonna be doing my full update on all my Oscar predictions. And as always, I'm gonna bring the stats with me. Oh, and also, best way to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. That way I can bring you more videos. Always appreciate you guys. Until next time, I will see you at the Oscars.